These clown sightings are ridiculous. At least October is almost over, so these clown sightings can be put to rest. In Jacksonville, Florida, all kinds of clowns popping out like jack-in-the-box on porches trying to so-called prank people. They have the nerve to be showing up on porches late at night. This clown right here grabs a pumpkin, tears it up, then notices he's caught on camera as he disappears in the darkness. Oh, so now you want to disappear in the darkness? That's what you get. These bozo the clowns need to take their asses back to the Ringling Brothers and Barlam and Bailey Circus where they belong. And other horrible news that happened last week, this woman by the name of Julia Martin, who was from Detroit, was stabbed to death by her formal fiance, 35-year-old Rodney Harvey. Yeah, that's his ass right there on the right next to Julia. They dated since 2013, but three years later, they broke up six months ago. Rodney Harvey had a long battle with depression. Julia's father, Derek Martin, never witnessed Rodney being dangerous. But when Julia told Harvey she was dating again, that obviously drove him to kill her once he arrived to her Chicago apartment, taking back the engagement ring he gave her. He forced open the door, then stabbing Julia repeatedly. Guess what? He then jumped to his death from the apartment, the old typical cowardly murder way out. It's the same damn thing every time someone murders somebody. Julia, the poor thing, called the police, grabbing her phone, calling the police, asking them to send an ambulance. Then she texted her father for help, but he was not at home at the time as he as he ran to the store. Aw oh, man, that's sad her dad wasn't there. It wouldn't have mattered anyway since he was like hundreds of miles away from her. Julia arrived at the hospital, but she died at the age of 27. Man, this is so sad. Oh my God, this is horrible. Julia Martin, she is so pretty. That is a very pretty woman. Isn't she pretty? Oh my goodness. And she gets stabbed all because of her crazy, sick, 35-year-old formal fiancé? Just not right. She also called a friend as she was painting over the phone trying to get her to breathe. He thought it was a prank and hung up on her. He feels so bad. Heck, he should. Why would she prank her friend when really she needed help? That don't make any sense. That was effed up for her friend to actually think she was pranking. Come on, man. This is so sad. When is this senseless violence going to stop over bullcrap? She probably ended the relationship due to seeing a true side of him she's never seen before. It's important for people to be aware of signs of someone when dating before getting into a relationship. That way, when noticing a dark side of them, make sure to get away from them as soon as possible. Otherwise, it can be too late down the road when noticing the signs when rushing into a relationship so quickly. These people need help and they lost their minds. Rest in peace, Julia Martin. I mean, obviously, it sounds like her formal fiance obviously did the whole, well, if I can't have you, no one can bull crap. The same old, same old. This is the same thing what happened to Christina Grimmy. Sick. Well, check out the two links in the description box for both articles. This has been the video. You guys have a nice weekend. Later.